ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सो अस आई वाज सेइंग Pag-asa is the main advocate for non-structural mitigation. So I, as highlighted in the, uh, in the uh, various international and local frameworks and policies and other related instrumentalities when it comes to early warning system. So ito po yung structure of flood early warning system or flood forecasting and warning system of Pag-asa. So we have basin operation for delimitered major river basins. We also have dam operation for major reservoirs, which we do with the dam operators. So far, we have major river, river uh, major uh, reservoirs in Luzon, so which are embedded within the monitored river basin. So as you can see here, uh, the Magat is within the Cagayan River Basin, uh, Ambuklao, Binga, and San Roque Dam. It's within the Agno River Basin, and Pantabangan and uh, San uh, Pantabangan Angat and Ipo Dam. Bustos Dam is within the the Angat. The Pan Pampanga River Basin. So sa Bicol po, wala po tayong reservoir. So we also do basin operation for non-telemetered or engaged or poorly gauged river basin. So mostly these are for the principal river basins. And we operate on a river basin approach. So ibig sabihin kung saan nang gagaling ang tubig, yun po yung ating monitor down up to its most downstream areas or most uh, kung saan po nagdi-drain yung ating mga river system. Okay, so other services that, that are being undertaken by Hydromet Division in spite of the pandemic situation, we undertake the establishment of FFWS for other major river basins and important river basins. So we do this through a phased process. Ibig sabihin po ng fraud by the roadmap for enhancement of the flood forecasting and the midterm plans for the enhancement of the flood forecasting and warning system in the Philippines. So ito po yung ating uh, sort of a manual that we follow. So these are all prepared by our Japanese consultants for the project for strengthening capacity of integrated uh, data management of flood forecasting and warning in the Philippines. So they were able to prepare how are we going to improve our, or, or further improve our flood monitoring and early warning systems. So we continuously review, enhance our network of hydrological monitoring facilities for a more relevant and timely flood warning information. We also undertake uh, construction of river centers, tabletop survey, actual site survey for the location of the monitoring stations, including its related facilities, and the establishment of X-band radar rate gauges for the monitored rate uh, river basins that will also cover the monitored reservoirs. So yung monitor operation and maintenance of the mon hydrological monitoring stations, we undertake that, the conduct of IEC, and we also implement projects related to FFWS. Okay, what are the challenges that we face in the services due to this pandemic? So number one, actually ang HMD po, we are really, really very dependent on data. So yung network po of hydrological monitoring stations are essential in the numerous dimensions of the HMD services. So ito pong pandemic na to, this COVID-19 has really impacted yung isang importanteng activity of the, of the division, which is the maintenance of our stations. So meron po tayong last year, it started last year, we have an unwelcome stressor, which is this COVID-19. COVID so ito po ay nag cause ng restrictions on travel that hampered not only the maintenance of our monitoring stations, but also the travel, uh, the implementation of all our ongoing and scheduled for implementation ng mga, ng mga projects, uh, foreign-assisted projects, some are foreign-assisted projects, including the conduct of some post-flood investigation that we had, we should have done during the major flooding of calendar year 2020. So luckily, we have the river centers that have undertaken all of this post-flood investigation, although with very, very limited perso personnel uh, conducting that. So on the part of the contractor, the deployment of personnel also stretched the completion period for the ongoing projects. So... Uh, medyo limited po yung nag-work on our ongoing projects. So, 
medyo na extend po yung mga completion period period for this ongoing projects. So we also have limitation. One of the challenges is the limitation of personnel for the new newly established river centers, and we have also implemented yung uh, different scheme, working scheme, and. On that note, we have internet connectivity. The internet connectivity for those working at home are facing some challenges. Alam naman natin, it's not that robust here in the Philippines. So, meron pong mga ganong challenges on those personnel who are working at home. So, ito lang po yung nakita kong challenges. So, aside from the other 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 uh other things we were able to pull through with those. And how are we able to cope with these challenges? What are the coping mechanisms uh, employed by PAGASA or more specifically by HMB uh, during this pandemic season? So yung po mga extreme events, passage of tropical cyclones and other weather systems uh, that could bring rains, considerable rains, those are all inevitable. So with this make copy coping mechanism and other uh, and other uh, schedules that we have implemented, we, are, we were able to uh, and other adaptive measures that we were able to uh, have. So we were able to pull through with these uh, challenges. So we have adapted a flexible work schedule to reduce the mobility of personnel without compromising the quality of services that we offer. So sabi ko nga po, we have, we have work from home, personal working at home, personal working in the office. Uh, all of those are have worked complementing para po uh, to, to, to give the quality of service that we need to, to give to those people who are depending on our warnings. So on that note, we have continuous issuance of flood warning information through a general flood advisory, both for basin and monitored reservoirs. We have also requested travel pass for our telecom engineers and technicians for the maintenance of our monitoring stations, as you can see here in those pictures here. But these are all confined to areas that can be reached only through land travels. So ito pong, ito pong uh, areas where they conducted the maintenance is this these are all for the Pasig Marikina uh, and Tuliahan River basins. We made use of all the available online platform for the conduct of meeting, collaborative undertakings, updates on foreign assistance projects, like for the CDO FFWS projects, we were able to conduct this meeting with the with the with the JICA headquarters for the I think bidding process that was conducted last year. And the conduct of IEC, we were able to conduct an IEC for the Rotary members and disaster resilient team of the Quezon province. So thank God for this online platform. Thank God for this technology. So we were also able to continue monitoring the establishment of flood forecasting and warning system for other major river basins via team viewer. And in, we are in close coordination coordination with the designated CMOs where uh, we have for this uh, newly established flood forecasting and warning system. So we, there is also an encouragement on the part of the hydrologists to participate on online webinars and this is distance learning programs relative to hydrology, early warning system, flood forecasting, and dam operation for them to maintain capacity devel development goals. Okay, there is also close coordination with appropriate agencies and LGUs for the re-entry of the Korean nationals for the rehabilitation of Koika 2 project for Pasig Marikina, the establishment of flood early warning system for Bohol and Cebu, and the repair of NDMI flood early warning system in Cagayan de Oro. So right now we are working for the re-entry naman of our Japanese nationals. Okay. And through the initiative or of the Pampanga River Basin Flood Forecasting and Warning Center that, and also in close coordination with the training section of RDTD, uh, the Operational River Basin Center Flood Forecasting and Warning Services under the new normal was conducted last December 2020. So this provided an avenue wherein we discuss all the concerns of the river centers. Okay, and the passage of TC Ulysses last November 2020 has also catalyzed some important initiatives for dam operation, wherein Pagasa or the HMD, through its HMD, 
uh, were deeply involved. So ito po yung creation of the National and Regional Dam Safety Committee, which was spearheaded by the Office of Civil Defense and the revision of dam discharge warning protocol for Magat Dam, which was spearheaded by the National Irrigation Administration Head Office. So there were also... We were also able to present some activities during the Senate and congressional hearings for the flooding in Region 2 during the passage of TC Ulysses. So marami din pong mga initiatives that came out of this uh, unprecedented floodings in Region 2. Okay, so for some concluding remarks and way forward activities, of course, it's business as usual. As the HMD is committed to carry out its function as the flood operational services arm of PAGASA, we also have continuing testing verification of hydrological models for improved hazard information and to support decision making for our LDR RMOs. So meron din po, we are planning also to have this continuing capacity building for telecom engineers and technicians for the PAGASA Regional Services Divisions who will be tasked to under, undertake the operation and maintenance of the hydrological monitor, monitoring stations within their area of the jurisdiction. So pagka po, this will ensure that uh, the, 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 the other river centers will uh, minimize their dependence or, on HMPS, which also have very limited personnel. So by doing, doing capacity building uh, with them, uh, uh, learning from our telecom engineers, they, were able, they will be able to undertake the operation and maintenance of whatever stations, hydrological stations that they have within their area of operation. So we are planning also to have discussion meeting with the river centers before the onset of the rainy or flood season. We have continuing activities for the establishment of FFWS for other major river systems and of course the X-band radar network, the expansion of X-band radar network covering these major river systems. And we are also targeting the commencement of the JICA assisted projects for improving the flood forecasting and warning system for Cagayan de Oro River Basin, which is already uh, uh, long overdue because this was supposed to start last year but uh, was put on hold for a while because of this pandemic and travel restrictions. And we also are also looking forward to the continuing activities of other Government of Japan assisted projects. We have still two. And we maintain the collaborative undertaking with other agencies and academic institutions. And we are also conducting the IEC. So we have planned the IEC for the downstream municipalities of the major reservoirs. And if possible, the, con the conduct of the communication field. And uh, as I've mentioned earlier, uh, we have working out for the hiring of additional personnel para po, uh, for, our, uh, for the expansion of our flood forecasting and warning ser services to other major river basins. Okay, and with that, thank you for your kind attention.